Natalie here, you know me as Exotic King. Don't forget to please check out the website at exoticink.com. Today I'm going to show you a remix video of how to airbrush on a black t-shirt using the Dark Knight Joker. What I'm using is a black hoodie, size small, um, just a regular sweatshirt, and I put it on my foam board. And I want to put support, uh, support between the shirt. Also, the airbrush gun I'm using is an Iwata Eclipse, and I'm putting my air pressure on 50. You want to center your shirt by the corners, check the corners, make sure it looks pretty center in the front. Here is my design, and I have drawn this design a million times, so I know how to draw it pretty well. What I'm using is Crayola chalk, just regular kids chalk. And if you're having problem drawing the design, a little trick we do is we fold the paper in half, and we fold it again. It's a pretty simple design the face, so I'm sure you can just do four folds, four boxes, um, and what you do is you draw a straight mark like this and go across. The bottom line, I always match up underneath the arms of the shirt, and then the middle is straight where the spine is. So basically, I, I can follow along where my grid is. So the eye, the eye over here. The nose a little here. And it doesn't matter if you think you make a mistake with the chalk because you can just rub it very lightly and take it out. And you can do it again. I'm going to continue drawing it and then show you how to airbrush. Here I have drawn the design with chalk. Just the outline I need. I'm going to take my Curtex white and I'm going to follow along that shape that I just did. One thing you need to keep your reference photo right in front of you. The only way white works on a black shirt is if you actually build up the color. So you lay down your first white color and then you wait till it dries and then you build up on top. If the bottom layer doesn't dry, you can't build up the white. What I have done is I took my shirt down and I took an iron and I laid a pillowcase over the top of it and I pressed down with my iron about 20 to 30 seconds in sections. That shirt is a very fuzzy material so it's going to make these paints like fuse into the sweatshirt and give it a flatter surface. It helps take away that fuzz. And now I'm going to add another layer of white on top, and I'm using Craytex White. I've switched off to Craytex Black, and I want to just clean up my edges. Um, over here has a little depth, maybe add a little bit of a black, clean his eyes up. I switched off to Kratex Red for the lips. In doing 
the lips, you want to do them in a shape. The reference I'm using, I already airbrushed this picture and I took a picture of it. And when I get orders, I just look at my old uh, airbrush t-shirt that I did so I can follow it easier as in shapes. And basically, you want to build it right up in a nice shape. Make a mistake. This is a black shirt, so you just go and take your Kratex black and you spray out your mistake. And if you can see it still through the black, you let it dry and then hit it again with the black. Now that I've completed the red process, I'm going back with the black and I want to clean up those lips. I want to clean up inside the nose. thing that I have to add to this is the white highlight on the lip to give it that puffy look. That's the end of the video. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paintbrush and I'm going to splatter some red Kratex paint all around the edges to give it that really good bloody look of the dark night. And my name is Natalie. The video is brought to you by ExoticInc.com. Don't forget to join our MySpace page as well to learn how to paint. And don't forget to leave me comments so I know if I'm doing these videos right. Thanks. Bye, guys.